your brain controls your weight far more than willpower ever could. And deep inside your brain is a small but powerful region called the hypothalamus. It's your metabolic command center, regulating hunger, energy use, hormones, and survival. And here's the part most people never hear. Your brain doesn't care what the scale says. It cares about safety. And when your brain senses stress, inflammation, poor sleep, or unstable blood sugar, it shifts into protection mode. And once that happens, fat loss becomes biologically unsafe. This is where insulin signaling in the brain matters. Insulin isn't just about blood sugar. It's also a communication signal that tells your brain whether energy is available or the weather it's scarce. And when that signal becomes disrupted, often after years of high carb intake, chronic stress, and metabolic strain, the brain begins to interpret that environment as threatening, even when food is plentiful. Hunger gets louder, cravings feel urgent, energy drops, and fat loss slows or stalls. Then there's leptin, the hormone that tells your brain we're safe, we have enough stored energy. And when the brain stops responding to that signal, it holds on to fat to protect you. That's survival biology at work. That's why willpower alone doesn't work long term. You can't override a nervous system that's prioritizing survival. And this is why weight loss becomes possible only after the brain perceives safety. We're also seeing this connection show up in cognitive health, including what many now refer to as type 3 diabetes. The brain is not separate from metabolism. It's actually central to it. So if your body has felt resistance to change, it isn't because you lack discipline. It's because your brain has been responding to the signals it's been given. When those signals change, the response changes. That's not motivation, that's biology.